self, uh, pure water. As the oil comes, it comes with an endorsement to have access to God's inheritance. Are you with me, somebody? Don't treat it carelessly. Don't treat it with a joke. And don't treat the career of that oil with a plea. How can a man that lost everything, just oil coming on him, makes him a captain of God's inheritance? Just oil. No, is one, the career of the oil, two, the endorser who is God. So you don't joke with God and you don't joke with the man that carried the oil that want to release it upon your life. Are you hearing me? Then Isaiah chapter 45. Isaiah chapter 45. Isaiah chapter 45. Verse 1. Isaiah 45 verse 1. Thus saith the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have what? I have hold. Holding. Now number 2. The oil comes to help you because it comes to hold your hand. I'm not sure you heard me. No, it's not like all of us are not struggling. It's not like all of us are not doing something. It's not like all of us are not making effort. But there are people that the little effort they make produce results because they are helped. Oil, they help them. Oil, they help them. Oil, they help them, sir. Oil, they help them. It's not in their strength. The Bible says it's not of him that will it, nor of him that run it. But it's of God that showed mercy. He said, I will show mercy to whom I will show mercy and compassion to whom I will show compassion. If God help you, mercy has been shown to you. There are people that they get things because oil helps them. He said, because of the oil, I have hold his right hand. It means that anything he does, he will see answers. So don't joke with oil that has come to help you. I'm not your friend today. I am not. Can never be. Because friends don't bless friends. Somebody say, you know, daddy, we are so close that we are friends. I say, that is where you missed it. The Bible say in the book of Hebrews chapter 7 verse 7, it says, without controversy, the less is blessed of the greater. Until you bend your head to the higher pouring, there is no way oil will reach your head. The jerry can wait they empty. Need to submit himself over the jerry can way full. Before the oil will flow to it. Have you not taken your, your, the, your, the tank of your car? You notice it's empty. And you went to buy fuel from a small jerry can. You notice that you need to lift up the jerry can higher than the, your car for the fuel to flow. But the car is massive. But you need a small jerry can to make it to move. Brother, until you submit to the oil, the oil will not bless you. It won't help you. So if you joke around the oil, the oil can even kill you. See now, thank you. Are you understanding me? That's why you don't play around your pastor. Don't do tete. No. I have a pastor that is very humorous. Can crack jokes. But every of his joke is an anointing. I'm not sure you heard me. I say every of his joke is an anointing. Yesterday my wife and my said we're mad as a, at a photographer. Why? Because our, our grandfather shook us and he did not snap it. Just shake him. That shake, Bishop Oedipo shake me yesterday, was not a shake. It was an anointing to another level. I told my wife, I said, it is an anointing I collected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't play around certain graces. Don't play around it. Don't joke with it. 
You don't look at your pastor that blesses you and begin to joke with him. No! It will cost you much. It may not take away anything from him, but it will take away something from you. You don't come around your father and begin to dance naked. You come with reverence because you know that is what you are looking for is with him. Say, Cyrus, I have held your hand. I have helped you. Because of my help for you, doors will be open to you. Ah! I have helped you. I have come to help you. Oil is for help. Anointing is for help. There are people that do business based on their connection and knowledge. And suddenly they wake up, the business fail. But the ones that are anointed, heaven has helped them. You will enter gates you never negotiated for. You will enter doors you never asked for. Why? Because the anointing has brought help to your life. So this morning I came with the oil to help you. I am not saying you are not making effort. Though. You are making effort, but you need this help. Once help come, double speed, enter your feet. You accomplish what your natural strength cannot do. So you need help. You need help. Ah! Except the Lord build a city. The builders walk in vain. in vain. Does it mean they are not walking? They are walking, but their work is in vain. Why? Because God is not building the city. Except the Lord watch over a city. The watchman watch it, but in vain. I am not saying you are lazy. I am not saying you are not working. But I'm saying that you need help. You need a higher help. A higher hand need to help you. A higher hand need to help you. A higher hand need to uphold you. A higher hand need to do something for you. Is it not? Is it not? I didn't say you are not praying. I didn't say you are not fasting. But the issue is that there is no help. No help. Oh God, send me help from the sanctuary. That is the cry. That is the cry. Send me help. Now, when help come, your effort is now enhanced. So you discover that the Bible said, when the axe is blunt, you exert more strength. But when the axe is shaped, ah! it now says, Wisdom is profitable. Ah! Let this my axe not be blunt again. Let it be sharpened. I need help. Little strength, bam, open. Little strength, bam, open. You invest just 10,000 naira. 100,000. You invest 100,000. 100 million. You invest 100 million. Billion. Just little push. You need it. You have been singing. Nobody is hearing you. You have been singing. Nobody is looking for you. But just one help. Only one help. One endorsement. Just one. The nation of the earth will start looking for you. One. Now one message will carry you go palace. There's a song Frank Edward sang. Immediately he sang that song. The wife of the governor of River State had the song and gave a special invitation to bring him to River State. He walked away with millions. He sang another one. A woman had it. He was living in one small cubicle struggling in the ghetto. The woman had him, gave him a house, endorsed him, and released money. He had an opportunity to shake the hands of the woman. And while he was shaking him, he said, I would love to do a song with you. The woman started telling him, I've been listening to your song. He was shocked. So a little me Domwem, he said, I am not only doing a song, I'm coming to your house. It was an endorsement that internationally he went Vera, started making money in dollars. There is something you are doing in one corner, nobody is hearing you. All you need is an endorsement of a help from heaven. That when God will send a man to stand, just standing with you, he don't finish.
Do you know the calls I got? Even this morning when I'm coming to church. And we saw you on television. We didn't know this is your level. Hey. Hey. You know how much people's mentality it has changed? You know how much acceptance it has brought to me? There is somebody that will just stand by you. You will gain acceptance. There's, you don't, don't be surprised if this church start growing. Just because somebody saw me somewhere with somebody. There are people that matter where in your field. That when you meet them, your announcement come. Oh God, send me help. Let oil identify me. Let oil identify me. Ah. If you need to see the distance of where Papa was sitting, shake, shake till he got to my turn. Ah! What are we saying? That photographer. I almost beat him yesterday. Are you okay? Why didn't you snap this one? But somebody saw me on television. Another saw me. Another saw me. Another saw me. I prophesy to you. Any man that need to endorse you, we endorse you this season. You can imagine, maybe you were this, uh, this national sports you guys just finished, and suddenly IG said to you, uh, come, let's snap picture. And IG snap picture with you, put, posted it on his own Instagram. Uh, everybody will be looking for you. Harry, I better connect me to IG. Connect it to, you don't even know IG number. <laughs> you go, they will be wiring you millions of naira just for them to meet IG. Oh, my God, we send you help. Amen. You didn't hear me. My God, we send you help. Amen. And the help will become a divine endorsement Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I've shared this story before. I want to share it briefly for the sake of this meeting. Sit down quietly. A lawyer that was not doing well has no car, has nothing. He wanted a lawyer that is renowned, son, that has a name to kind of I think he wanted to introduce a case to him because when he got to know the case, he discovered that the people will not be able, he won't be able to handle the case. So he, I, I can't, I, I, I've shared this testimony. And so the lawyer came to him, was fidgeting. Sir, eh, I want you to endorse me. Eh, is that right? He saw, because the people that have attained to a place in life, they know when somebody went with Johnny just come. Is coming around them. There's a way the thing just make you to begin to shiver even if nobody is telling you anything. Do you know what he said? He said, stand up. He said, we are going out of this place now. Just be walking with me. Be talking. Be saying something. So the young man was like, he, was, he didn't even know what to say. He said, don't do as if you are a servant. Behave as if me and you were colleagues. Behave as if we are on the same rank. Behave as if we are gisting. So, just be free. You know, when you are talking to your boss, you'll be doing like this. He said, no, stand, behave as if we're gisting. So, the guy was gisting, and the guy was gisting him. Just keep gisting me. I'm fine. How is everything? So, very fine, very fine. Now, while they were going, all the people in government, the politicians, they sought him to get out with him. And all the lawyers that needed favor from this man, they saw him. So all of them were like, God bless you. They were greeting them. At, uh -huh. So they were just in. They were just in. When they got outside, he said, you need an endorsement. You just got one. He said, you just got yourself one. So the guy, Waka enter in car. Expecting my guy to enter his car. Bros, now can the car and come. <laughs> so he has to like go around so that he will not reduce the level of the endorsement. So he has to like go hide himself somewhere until everybody is gone. He enters his Okada and left. Few days later, people started looking for his number. Thank you. People started looking for his number. The ones that want to see the senior lawyer were calling him. 
The ones that want him to handle their case at that level were looking for him. So at the end of the day, these ones were lobbying him with millions just to see the other lawyer. These ones were lobbying him just to give him. Then somebody gave him a job of 10 million and was begging, please manage this. Mm, Person will never see 10,000. If they say manage this, he said, okay, please, can we pay you after the job or up front? He said, up front, they wire 10 million. They said, please manage it. If it is not enough, let us know. He said, if it is not enough, let us know. The guy said, because that guy taught him something. He said, don't lower your guard. Don't lower your value. Sir, how can you give me some kind of job and tell me 10 million? Please prepare yourself. When I'm done with the job, you have to pay me another 10 million. Hallelujah. Bros, that 10 million, like in life, joined together from beginning. But you see, you need someone's endorsement. Ah, let me show you. Let me show you. Give me First Samuel chapter 10, verse 6. Let me show you. Let me show you. He said, when you move from here, you will meet a company of prophets. It means you were not a prophet, but you will find yourself amongst the company of prophets. It means your level will change when the oil comes. You will find yourself amongst the company, and you will be turned into another. The Spirit of the Lord shall come upon you, and thou shalt prophesy with them, and thou shalt be turned into another man. A man we say is so also a prophet. He is so. Are you also a millionaire? I am. Old. Uh, because I attended meeting with millionaires and we talk about millions even though I'm a thousand year for me to be in their midst I am also the spirit robs so number three in case you are not aware the anointing changes your company it changes your company it changes your company from an ordinary man, you become a super, super ordinary human being. It changes your company. I see this endorsement changing your, your friends and changing your company. In the name of Jesus. If that amen is allowed, let me hear you shout amen. We found ourselves yesterday somewhere with some companies. And I was trying to talk to my wife. I said, no, no, no. We talk it at home. Just relax. Do you know what she was trying to let me know? Don't behave at this where Johnny just come. Just behave it. we've been here. I, I'm not sure you heard me. Uh, because if you behave as Johnny just come, they may undermine us. So just behave as if we've been here. They even met us here. Kai, where your company changed, you are turned into another man. Another spirit enter you. Another spirit begin to operate in you. I prophesy to you. Your company is changing in the name of Jesus. You shout amen, shout it like thunder. Shout the loudest amen now. Oil. Can you imagine oil changing even your company? Changing the people you relate with. He said he prophesied and they were asking, is soul also a prophet? You need to enter into the company of millionaires and billionaires. The oil will relocate you. Relocate your friends, relocate your company. Change your friends, change your company. Change your language. Change the way you behave. Change the way your courage is and you begin to speak in a big, big way. Why? Because the oil has changed your company. Everything around you take a turn now in the name of Jesus. He said he was turned into another man. A professor. You are turning into another man in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, jump to your feet and shout amen like thunder. Until your company is changed, your company will not make way. Company. 
of what you do and your company association. When association change, what you do works. Are, are you hearing me? What are you saying? You can't be among the dollar carrying men and be carrying error. I was watching a movie within the week, and this young man was just a struggling boy, met a girl in school in London and wanted to marry her. And he happened to marry, a, the girl is from a renowned family. And so the day of their traditional marriage, they were spraying dollars on their daughter, the father, the mother, the sisters, and the friends, they were spraying dollars. And the guy brought out his miserable bundle of 200 naira. And they were shouting. Uh, the bride was shouting. Uh, let uh, the uh, TV people that came to cover the event, like, he said, remove it, remove it, remove it, remove it, remove it. Don't cover, don't cover. He said, let the photographers be stopped, let them be stopped. You know, I said, please let them, let them not take it to Instagram. <laughs> you know, I said, why? The guy was just, why? He said, when you saw people spraying dollars, hundred, hundred dollars, you are spraying me to 2020, 20, 200, 200. He said, but I spray it in, in bundle. <laughs> he said, my friend, next time don't spray me naira, spray me dollar. I command an influence to come around you. No, you didn't hear me. I command an influence to come around you. Esther was a slave girl, but anointing brought her to the place of influence. Her company changed. Her people changed. Her Sit down, sit down, quiet. Are you with me? Number four, your company will not only change. Give me that Isaiah 45. Oh, God. Mango la shani mango shteka fata. Isaiah 45 verse 1. He said, he has holding your hand as he has helped you to subdue nations. Number four, empowerment of the oil. It gives you the authority to be on top. It releases authority in your hand to subdue nations. It releases authority in your hands. It leaves you with authority. When the oil comes, it doesn't leave you empty. It leaves you with authority. When the oil comes, he leaves you with authority. He said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me, for the Lord has anointed me to preach. He gives me the authority to preach. He leaves me with the authority to preach. He said, I am a man under authority, just like you are. In Matthew chapter 8, verse 8, he said, I said to this, go, he goes. To this, come, he comes. Makes you a commander. And you have authority. She has the oil not made you a captain over his inheritance. You have authority. So the place of the oil is the place of authority. Authority to command money. Authority to command finance. Authority to say to money, come to me and money answers you. In case there are things that have been working against you, you are receiving authority to work against that thing. Amen. Matthew chapter 8 verse 8. Give me that scripture quickly. And the centurion answered and said, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak a word and my servant shall be made whole. Then give me verse 9. He said, For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me, and I said to this man, Go, and he goeth, and to another come, and he cometh, and to the servant, Do this, and he doeth. 
You need authority to command finance. You need authority. It's not only to have knowledge of what to do to make money. You need authority to maintain money. That's why the people of the world, the businessmen, they ensure they are politicians so that they can keep money. With power, they keep wealth. With business, you make wealth. But with power, you keep wealth. Dan Gote is not a partisan politician, but every government, he controls them. Whether it's PDP, whether it's APC, whether it's CCC, whether it's ZCC, whatever that comes, even the military governance he controls. Why? Because the wealth brought him to the place of authority. And so he speaks with authority. Let me tell you the truth. Whether you accept it or not, if Angote gets angry, Nigeria will go hungry. Sit down. That, is, that you will find viable in the market is Angote. What you eat, he took over it. Reject him in water, you will drink him on the land. Reject him in the land, you will drink him in the water. He's everywhere. You hate him, it's your problem. He's collecting one one cup of taxation from every home. Every Nigerian that exists is paying Nangote one one kobo every day. Whether you like it or not, whether you eat his product or you don't eat it, whether you, because before the building will come for you to rent, he must collect one naira from your landlord and the landlord must collect 10 naira from you. So he's controlling the economy. Now he's building one of the best refineries in Africa. What are you saying? It's controlling it. So what are we saying? Instead of us to be saying, God forbid in church, what can we do in church? That's the problem. We always come back to God forbid. We always come back, let's pray. We always come back praying. Rake, ke, 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 ke. Rake, ke, 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 ke. The oil that come on you, what did you do with it? They gave you oil from church. You could not have one error. You have one error. The next thing what comes to your mind is to be sleeping girls in church. The oil leaves. Yes. The next thing you slap pastor, you insult pastor, the oil leaves. But Dan Gote will never speak against his malam. He will keep hiring them. He will keep paying them. He will keep taking care of them. Did you hear me? He was even looking for pastors to talk, take care of. So what do we do? Let's do a change. What is our change? Whatever oil come upon us, let's take the authority of what to do with it. We were somewhere yesterday and they were insulting pastors. The problem of this country is the pastors. 90% of the, 99.5% of the pastors are scam. Can I ask you a question? A riot sprang up in the same airport. My friend, who is the same pastor sitting with me in the VIP, that we've been insulted in the VIP, he is the one that went to give airpiece an idea of how the riot can be stopped. They even pour him things and pour him things and the same pastor. We have the greatest wisdom, but you don't have value for us. Who is in, insulting pastors yesterday? Sunday, Emmanuel, 